lots of women based office based work have had that benefit of flexibility and I think Tanya made the point earlier that obviously not all jobs not all sectors have that luxury um, and I, I'm thinking specifically for organizations like Bosch who are you know largely you've got big portions of engineering and manufacturing in in your in your work how, how do you how do you I guess take COVID forward obviously not being able to perhaps have the luxury of flexibility where should those other areas be do you think that we should look to focus in on for those particular sections of of the workforce you mean the ones that can't work from home and have yeah <sighs> do you know th- th- this is such a this is such a big topic and and I, I would like to focus this much more on the ability, the, the um, opportunities for those people to, th- there may be something that can be done. You know, there may be something that can be done. Let's look at it. This has really challenged us and, and um, we need the people in the right places of all genders, all ethnicities, of all cultures. We need a diversity of thinking to come up with those solutions. Um, you know, if you're asking me now, come up with something, no, but if you if you sit together with the right group of people um, to, to have this discussion and really tear apart everything, you know, don't don't just accept because something has been done in a certain way. It has to continue to be um, done in that way, which our reaction in some cases to, to this crisis has shown it is possible challenge it and I this is what we're talking about today let's have a look at it why you know people people often say that the sky is the limit why is the sky the limit it's not we've proven it isn't so you know let's let's sit together there there is yes you're always going to have to sit in front of a hairdresser to get your hair cut accept that but um let's let's challenge how it's been done let's challenge what can be done